Dean, a tough game against a really strong and well-organised opposition. What can you take from that? Well, for our younger players, it just shows them the standard it takes to be at the top of, I think they'll be in around the top of League One again this year. They've got a fantastic philosophy um, and they've got lots of really good players, good pace. So, we, look, we could have, tactically, we could have easily just sat off and let them have the ball and let it be a proper pre-season game. But we went down and pressed them ourselves. So, we caused problems ourselves at times, but Laurie had to make some good saves. It was a great walkout for us. 100%. And obviously you're expecting them to be challenging. Did you expect them to hold the ball as well as they did? Yeah, that's their philosophy. Yeah, I don't live too far from Milton Keynes, so I do see a little bit of them myself. So, like I say, good side, brilliantly coached. Um, the patterns of play are excellent and they move you about. So, for us, it was a proper game of football. Um, a proper test and it just shows you, like I said, for our younger players, it'll show them you know, this, what it takes to go be go play at that level. Absolutely. Now, obviously, the first 10 minutes, it was a bit scrappy uh, as people found their feet. What did you put that down to? Just a, It was a little bit sticky, the pitch, wasn't it? A little bit long. Obviously, you expect that this time of the year. So, just that that really, I was finding our feet as well in the sense of tactically, because the way they play. It's all right looking at it on a video and doing it on the train again, where people are doing it in live time and split-second decisions. So, just finding our way with that, but feeling out both sides. But... We had a couple of really good chances in the first half. I know Laurie had to make some saves, but we had a couple of glorious chances in the first half. Ryan de Havilland in particular uh, just flashed one past the post. And so did Nicky Caban, but he should have took one early. He had to touch, he shouldn't have did that really. He should have took it early. So, But he was in the right position to get to, uh, to get the ball. It was a turnover on the press. So there was a lot, a lot of positives to take out of the game. Let's talk a bit more about Laurie Walker. Fantastic. And I think, I think without him, you'd have been a few more behind. Let's talk about that. Quadruple save, three in quick succession, followed by the corner, and then he, he tipped it over the bar. What do you make of his performance today? That's Laurie, really. That's, you know, he set his own standards of late, to be fair to Laurie. Uh, he's a senior goalie now, and he made some brilliant saves, to be fair. He was, he was kept at his work, so his concentration was good, his distribution was good, and like you say, he made good saves. That's his job, and he's done well. Absolutely, and your defence was solid for most of the game. Is that something you've been working on pre-season? Yeah, we're working on all aspects of the game. Um, still working on fitness, tactical, restarts. Uh, we had a great chance for Pritchard in the second half from a corner where he started across the front. He should have scored, really. So, yeah, we've been we're working on all aspects of the game. So, yeah, the team needs to gel as well. That helps too. Um, but I thought, some really, I thought Ben Winter was defensively excellent. Ryan de Havilland, his fitness levels are outstanding. Scored a fantastic goal. Just to name a few, but it was a really good game. Brilliant. And moving forwards, looking um, to the next week, we've got Portsmouth um, on Tuesday night. What sort of things are you looking for against Portsmouth that you didn't necessarily see today? I don't think they'll play as as open and, uh, and fluent as that. Uh, Danny and Nicky play slightly different ways. So, but it'll be a good game. I'm not sure what squad they're going to bring. So, but we'll go as strong as we can. And uh, it's still part of the pre-season process. Uh, you do want to have a winning mentality, but we understand the levels. There's a, a bit difference between Portsmouth and Barnet. So, but we appreciate MK Dons and Portsmouth and Peter is coming down to play us. You know, it's very important that we build relationships with clubs like that. So, uh, very positive. Yeah, of course. And how how is it in your dressing room amongst the backroom staff, your players? Are you feeling positive going into the season? Yeah, I think everybody. I think all 24 managers are probably saying that at yeah. the minute. You know, so uh, I think, like I say, we. I feel we've recruited well over the summer, I've still got a little bit to do. And uh, the attitude of the players has been spot on, that's the main thing. Our attitude, our application, we'll keep going to the line, keep pushing each other. We've got some big characters in there now, so that's so important. And that'll build on the character of the team. So once we keep going to the line, we'll do all right. Really good. And are there any specific positions on the pitch that you're still looking to strengthen, or are you pretty much there now? No, no, we're looking to strengthen. We still want to strengthen the two positions. Uh, I think we need another defender, and we definitely need another centre forward. So let's see what happens over the, over the coming days and uh, the coming weeks. And we'll take our time. The market's come back round to us, so we'll just take our time and make sure we've got whatever happens, we've got to sign better than what we've got. That's sort of the philosophy, that's the mentality. So. That's, that's how you improve, that's how you upgrade. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. For sure, and obviously you had supporters back in today. Really lovely to see the um, supporters back here at the Hive. What's your message to fans as we come around to the new stadium, uh, to the new season? Yeah, I think they're excited as well, as far as I know. Um, most of them have bumped into it around the Hive. They've got a couple come watch training. Um, the walk and football team, I was chatting to them guys yesterday. They play, they play here in the Friday. They're all excited, so... I think we're all excited. We've got a lot of pace in our team, so I think that excites teams, and uh, that's how I want my teams to play. So hopefully they'll get right behind us and be our 12th man. There's no doubt they will. Um, like I say, the good, the big test is when we get beat 
you know, how we bounce back collectively. That's the supporters, us, myself, the players. When we get beat in, in, in a league game, that'll be the big test. Uh, so that'll, that'll create the character of the group. Obviously going forward, hoping to have lots of fans through the door. Are you excited to see the noise that the B Army can make? Yeah, definitely. I know today we had a few issues with staff. Uh, casual staff were probably hard to get in London at the minute. Um, I think everybody's on a break, so I have to apologise about that on the club's behalf. So, look, from our point of view, we want to create that togetherness. It's so, so important. They're a major part of what goes on at our football club. So, um, like I say, we're excited, they're excited, and uh, the messages between each other have been excellent. The players are looking forward to playing in front of them, which is the most important thing. So, hopefully we can win many football matches. For sure, and finally, very vocal here on the sideline. How's the voice? Yeah, it's a little bit husky, as you can hear. And that wasn't singing, by the way. That was, look, when you play against a team that move you around so much, you have to help, especially with the average age of our team is 20, 25.3. So I think we're the tall, the youngest group in the division. So even though we have a couple of experienced players, I think you know you have to keep organising. You play against better teams. And if I can help from the side, I, I will. Dean, as always, thank you so much. See you on Tuesday.